So here's our Seagate hammer damaged hard drive. Uh, this drive was manufactured in 2007, so it's about eight years old. It's a 320 gigabyte drive, uh, old parallel ATA part of interface. And it's been hit by the hammer. Looks about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, probably close to 30 blows with the hammer. So they've hit it hard, obviously, to protect their data. And uh, they've hit the access here, and it's actually pushed through the PCB a little bit. So uh, if there's any chance of getting the data off it, we'll have to see how much damage is done inside. So let's have a look. The old 4-pin Molex cable ripped off its power, off its wires. Alright, let's have a look inside, see how much damage has been done. You can see the lid. Looks like a smashed up sardine can. It's been hit so hard it's depressed the uh, screws and printed into the metal. And that shouldn't be there, that should be clear. So. Surprisingly, inside doesn't look too bad. Um, <clears throat> we've got a lot of scratching uh, up here. So this drive's got two platters, but the top of it has scratched the surface. Now, if that's happened to the other surface, we're going to have a hard time getting data. Um, if you have a look at the top magnet, it's got um, the screw. The screw's actually it's been hit so hard the screws come out, but it looks like it's still got a thread on it. So that'll still thread that screw and that magnet. Uh, so I can't really see a lot of debris. We're going to have to replace the chassis on this drive completely. If you see, I can, if I touch the corners, uh, there's so much of a warp on it that it that it's flexing, so I can tell the chassis is buckled. Um, to get the data off it, we need the adaptive data off the printed circuit board, and I don't think we're going to have a problem getting that. It looks um, intact. I can at least make a new one, even if it is damaged. It looks like there's a few damaged components, but I'll be able to build a new one off that. I'll check the um, adaptive data on it. Um, we're definitely not going to power up this drive. If I was to attempt to power up this drive, the PCB would try and put power to the spindle motor, and it may not spin, but it could cause more scratching and damaging. So we're going to stay away from powering up this drive. Um, but to start, I'm going to take the heads out and let's have a look. Have a good look there, they're completely damaged. Um, so those heads will need to be replaced. You can see lots of bits of metal shard and physical damaged metal. We got probably, there's, there's your missing damaged head. So there's a piece of missing head that's been ripped off, so that's no good. All right, so I've got the PCB off to take a look at it. Just by uh, visually looking at it, you can tell that it's buckled a, li a little bit from the hammer. And if we get in nice and close, we can see that there is two obviously damaged resistors. You've got a 3.3 ohm resistor damaged here. There's a crack in it, and this one's this um, resistor here has been damaged as well. So let's um, put some power to it. And let's see what response we get from it. Uh, we'll know whether we need a new PCB as well. So we're going to be checking our status lights here. Let's put some power and see if anything comes up in the diagnostics port. So unfortunately, down the bottom, you can see our ATA status register lights. We've got no activity. 
and we got nothing coming out of the Seagate Diagnostics port. So this PCB is completely unresponsive. We're going to need to put a new one on it. So here's our donor drive we're going to use for parts. We got this out of our shelf. Um, a nice eight-year-old drive ready for an experiment. So uh, we've got everything we need to rebuild this one. And I'm still... I'm not very hopeful because the amount of damage that's been done to the platters, we can pretty much replace everything for the platters. If the platters have been damaged, then the person that's um, used a hammer to destroy this drive has done their job properly. But if they're not, then we can and should be able to get the data off the drive. So I've got a little bit of work to do now. I've got to prep up our spare one. I've got to make a new PCB and um, get ready for a new drive. Okay, so we've got our drive rebuilt. This is our Project Seagate Hammer Damage Hard Drive. I did see some, a bit of damage done to the platters as I shifted them across. Uh, that's not good, that's not going to help. There was a little bit of a buckle in the platter so you could see some kind of damage. So I expect to hear some noisiness come from this when I power it up as it rotates. Uh, I think we're going to have a hard time getting data. I think the person that's damaged it has achieved what they need to do to uh, secure this drive's data forever. So, let's pay. Okay, let's hit the power and see what happens. I've seen what we want to see in the Seagate Diagnostics Terminal. But, we're getting nothing from this drive. As you can see down the bottom left, it's staying busy. So what should happen if the drive was going to work is we would get the drive to spin up and it would initialize the firmware. We would see it come ready down the bottom left. At the moment, it's just stuck. So we've got this far and we have deemed this data recovery a failure. So let's have a look and let's, uh, I'll show you why. Uh, what's happened to the drive, why it can't be recovered basically everything was damaged in the drive we can replace every single component except for the platters and the reason is that's where the data is so we had to replace the chassis the controller board the master head assembly um, we even had to replace screws pretty much everything had to be replaced the hammer did do a lot of destruction so what was it about these platters that meant that we couldn't get data off them? Well, let's see how badly damaged they are from the hammer. If you have a look on the flip side, we can actually see indentations of the um, chassis where it's punctured it. So these platters are completely warped, warped enough where I couldn't get them to actually spin up. So they kept the dry seas. So you can also see various uh, indentations of um, marks from other components of the drive so so there's a lot of um, damage done to these platters enough damage to to make this unrecoverable so there's two of them here that's the one on the bottom you can see those three dents here line up where they'll press against these riveting seals and same thing on the inside so not a chance in hell Heads come out, brand new parts come out in this, they would have been destroyed every time. So this person has done a good job of protecting their data.
I would probably like to see a little bit more damage that, done though. And here's a demonstration of what a nice working one should look like. You can see the surface is nice and flat, nice and shiny. There's absolutely no damage. So had we had seen that, yes, we would have got the data. But the hammers actually destroyed them. So we'll now deem this a failure.